Hi there, and welcome to Mr. Settle's science class. Uh, let me introduce Mr. Settle. I'm Mr. Settle. Uh, and today we're starting out a lab at the start of the school year uh, just to look at the difference between observations and inferences. So uh, what is an observation? Observation is uh, basically anything you can sense with your senses. So uh, tasting, uh, uh, touch, uh, smell, uh, hearing, and being able to see. All right, and uh, anything that we observe, we can then write that down. So descriptions of things or counting things, those are all observations. Measuring things, all types of observations. On the other hand, an inference is an explanation to those observations. It's why you think something happens that you've observed. Let's see if I can give you a quick example of that that I probably should have thought of before I started recording this. Um, quick example. Let's say you observe the principal come into my classroom and he gives the a single student a piece of paper and that student then walks out of my classroom. Those are observations. And if you didn't have any more information than that, you might infer some things. And those inferences may or may not be right, but they should be based on what you observe. So for example, a reasonable inference might be that uh, the student's in trouble. Another inference might be that the student had to be picked up by the parents to go to the doctor. Um, possibly an inference might be that the principal is the dad of that student. So those are all reasonable inferences. Now, um, we're gonna get some practice in just a minute. I'm gonna introduce you to a friend of mine Hang on tight just for a second. Radio silence. You can also scroll forward a second in the video. All right, I'd like to introduce you to my friend, uh, Dr. Rockenbach. Uh, he'll appear a few times throughout the year. Uh, warm welcome to Dr. Rockenbach. Hello, my name is Dr. Rockenbach. And I'm here to give you a little experiment. So, what is the experiment? Well, in your paper, you will find a spot to write some observations and some inferences. And uh, I think I titled this, Dr. Wachenbach introduces Petri dish magic. So, in the observations, write down everything you observe. And then we will stop and you can write down why you think this happens or the inference. So, What's my jo job today? We're going to take he this guy right here and try to give him a better nose. Like the Petri dish here. Put it on here like this. So, we will try. Write down your observations. Hello? Let's see if we can give this guy a nose. No. We try again. No. We try again. a good feeling about this one right here. Or not. Maybe not. I think I have given him a nose. Can you see? Oh, goodbye. So, you get the idea. There is a way to make it stick better, but I try one more time. Oh. Aha! Oh! 
to be crazy. So. We're going to give this guy a, a real nose. I think I failed. Oh! Oh! You see? We have here a nose. It's a little high for this person, but it's a nose. You, know, you can see? It will stay there. So I'm going to write your observations. And what I'd like you to do is write as detailed as you can. And then pause the video, and what you're going to do after you pause the video is you're going to write your inferences. Why do you think that this stays here? Why do you think it stays there? Come up with some reason why, based on what you have observed me do. Thank you for being kind to me. Dr. Rachenbach is on his way out.